have these wine cruises uh, in November, and um, they're spectacular. It's our second year doing them. And we um, going with me this November is Barry Wiss from uh, Tinchero Wineries. He's a certified wine educator, one of only 300 in the United States. And we have some of his wines shipped to the ship. We do tastings with his wines. And then we do some fun things like we go in, um, in Rudesheim. Um, there's a beautiful Dr. Nagley vineyard there right up the steep banks of, uh, in Rudesheim. And we do a wine tasting with Rudolph, the winemaker, and um, we taste some of his wines. We go into a cellar that's over 300 years old. So we have some of those aspects. And what's nice about the wine cruises, and we have six of them this November, is that you get all of the sightseeing you usually get on a program, but with a, uh, a wine influence added to it. What's nice is, you know, if you do a wine tasting, we're, not, we're just doing a tasting. Um, if someone on the ship, you know, we wine's included with dinner, and we serve, you know, as much wine as the clients like as long as they behave themselves, in, including the beer. But the real aspect is, you know, we have five-course dinners. We have um, beautiful full menu breakfast and buffet breakfast, uh, buffet lunches and full menu lunches. So people come away with a feeling, got an excellent value, and they saw parts of Europe that many means of mode of transportation are forgotten. You know, the highways now, they don't go through these little areas. They go on the other side of the mountain. So, you know, you're not getting beautiful towns like Cockham or Würzburg or Trier, uh, these great historic cities that, you know, sometimes are, you know, the, the bishop palaces there are spectacular. In Würzburg, there's a bishop palace there. It looks like a small Versailles. And we, so we get a sightseeing tour of the palace, and then after dinner, we go back into the palace, and in there, there's a, it was one of the largest wine cellars in the world. It's over 110 feet in length, and we do a, a Franconian wine tasting in there after dinner, and we illuminate the cellar with over 1,000 candles. Oh, it's my. one of those iconic experiences. But you won't see that on any bus tour or anywhere <laughs> other tour because it's, no. it's not easy to get into Würzburg. You know, mm. it's, it's off the modern highway, but it's great. You know, you walk from the ship to the palace. Well, we're talking with uh, Gary Murphy of Ama Waterways about the glories of river cruising, which indeed is a glorious experience. And, you know, one of the things that we should emphasize too, Gary, is that uh, you're doing all these amazing events and ex providing these experiences for people, but it's got to be the most relaxed and easy way of traveling through Europe that we've ever found. I mean, the fact is it, it combines all those the conveniences of cruising and, and being on modern boats and, or ships, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and yet you've, you've got this incredible convenience where you just tie up and go have these experiences. I mean, it is, it's a totally unique vacation experience, I think. You know, the ships are, um, the, we call them the sensational six. The first six we built starting in 2006, they are um, 148 passengers. Uh, 360 feet long, 38 feet wide, and they're built that width because of the requirements of the locks. Now, they've allowed us now to go longer, so we're now up to 430 feet, and we go with um, 182 passengers. So we only added a uh, little, like seven, I believe seven cabins, but we added another um, 80 feet in, in length. So, you know, we have dual balconies, we have uh, free wireless on board, we have a computer in every cabin with uh, free access to the Internet. Um, like I said, all your sightseeing is included in every port, beautiful meals. So people, you know, the savvy traveler, the people that have gone on the big ocean-going vessels and they want some of those benefits but be able to see Central Europe, river cruising is an excellent way of doing it. 